Good morning, Lions. Welcome back. Today is Monday, March 18th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Hope you had a good weekend, Lions. Now we'll be going to Miss Terry with this week's riddle. Good morning, Lions. Miss Terry here. I have the riddle of the day for you. I am not alive, but I grow. I don't have lungs, but I do need air. I don't have a mouth, but water kills me. What am I? Your answer will be revealed at the end of this video. Stay tuned. Thank you, Miss Terry. Now, let's get to the weather. It looks like it's going to be partly cloudy, and there might be rain tomorrow. As you know, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, and this upcoming Sunday is Palm Sunday. St. Patrick's Day is a cultural and religious holiday observed by both Irish and non-Irish communities. It is traditionally a celebration of St. Patrick and the arrival of Christianity in Ireland. Palm Sunday honors the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem ahead of his crucifixion and resurrection. The observance is characterized by the use of palm branches. Also on the 10th, Ramadan started. Ramadan is experienced primarily as a month of prayer, ascetic practice, family life, and generosity. Every ninth month of the Muslim calendar. Help and encourage all your friends who participate in any religion. Now let's get into the news. Let's go to ASB with the news. Good morning, Lions. Here are ASB announcements. Blood Drive is this Thursday. March 21st from 8.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. People who are donating, the location will be in the lion's den. If you want to sign up, please see Ms. Polito in D107. Remember, donating blood can make a big difference to those in need. Next, we have Grand Night tickets. We'll be going to Universal Studios May 10th. Seniors, tickets are on sale until April 19th. Tickets are $140 right now, but after spring break, it'll be $150. We only have 100 tickets left, so get yours soon. You can buy your tickets now at our Roar store, either in the morning or in the afternoon. If you can't make it since you go on the bus, let your homeroom teacher know so you can contact Ms. Polito. And she can make an appointment during homeroom. Remember, last day to buy tickets is Friday, April 19th, so don't wait any longer. Our next announcement is cap and gowns. Seniors, please make sure to order your cap and gowns soon. Here are the steps. Scan the QR code. It should take you to the website. Click on the cap and gown. Select collared and add to cart. Check out and fill, your, fill in your information. No card is required. It's simple, Lions. Cap and gowns will be shipped to our school near graduation day after April 1st. There is a $20 shipping fee. If you don't return your cap and gown by June 6th, you'll be charged a $20 fee, so order soon. That's it for ASB announcements. Back to you guys. Thank you, ASB. Let's get into our Lions example today. This week we have I for integrity. Integrity means the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. Let's see what our Lions think of integrity. All right, we're back again. Today we're gonna be asking people about integrity. So let's go find some people. What is integrity? Uh, integrity is um, like telling the truth, uh, being honest. Do you know anyone who has a lot of integrity on campus? Sure, the whole security team does. There you go. <laughs> there you security go. Team. Hello. Hello. You seem cool. Hi. You seem cool. What uh, is this? What is? We're gonna ask you. What is integrity? What's your definition of integrity? Uh, to own up to what you believe in, and you stand by what you stand by. And if anyone tells you differently, then it's on them, not you. Quote of the day. Yeah. Quote of the day. Thank you. What is integrity? As being honest even when no one's around. Mr. Williams, I got a question for you. Ask away. All right, I gotta look up a bit and then, all right, I think I got it. <laughs> I can't really see at this thing, but what is integrity? Integrity, uh, the famous line is, it's when you do the right thing when no one is watching. That's integrity. Okay. I'm gonna ask you, who do you think has a lot of integrity? Who do I think has a lot of integrity? On campus, yeah. That's a good question. There's Almost every teacher on campus has a lot of integrity. What is integrity in, in your words? 
What is integrity in my words? I wasn't ready for this. You're always ready. No, I wasn't ready for this one. It's saying you're going to do something and making it happen. Keeping true to your word. When were your time? All right. What is? What do you define to be integrity? Um. Respect. So, my good sir, uh, what what is your definition of integrity? I don't even know what that means, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Do you know hey, integrity? What does integrity mean? Yeah, integrity. Wait, let me ask. Mr. It's like when you um, like. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, so basically it's like doing the right thing without, like, when no one's watching. It's like what you do in the darkness, quote, unquote, jinxie. Good enough. Oh, I need you, bro. I, I need you. You're the hope of the campus, all right? Okay, what do you need, Cub? Okay, what is integrity? Integrity? Yeah. I, I want to say integrity is, damn, that's a hard one. Integrity is like, it's kind of m mixed in with your morals. Like, you have respect for other people and yourself. That's why I think integrity is. That's all we got for today. Uh, thank you again. That was integrity. Now back to you guys. Thank you, Leo Lyon. ASB will have a lunch activity today. Make sure to participate, Lyons. If you notice, our staff has been handing out a lottery ticket for those who show leadership examples from last week. Let's go to the Lyons lottery drawing and see who won. Good morning, Lyons. It's Mrs. Robbins here to thank all of the staff members who nominated some of their students for showing leadership this week. I'm going to be picking the raffle ticket for the winner of the Levy Pollard hoodie. Here we go. The winner is Adam. Adam from Mr. Mitchell slash library homeroom. Adam, if you can see Mr. Ware for your hoodie to pick out your size, we would love that. This week, we're going to be focusing on integrity. So be sure to show integrity, Lions. And teachers and staff members, please nominate students for showing integrity. And we'll be back next week to draw another ticket for another hoodie. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Congratulations Lions. On being the example of leadership, this week we'll be doing the same thing but for integrity. Be on the lookout. Let's make sure to follow our letter I. I stands for integrity. Next week, we'll be doing O. O stands for open-mindedness. Stay tuned, guys. Remember, we announced best of nominations two weeks back. Well, the votes are in, and we have our nominees. Let's go to Yearbook to show our nominees. Hey, Lions. This is Mr. Collins from Yearbook, and these are your senior best of nominations. Our first category for funniest, we have Ramundo Sastre, Andrew Mendoza, Lizette Cabrera, and Narda Gutierrez. For best dressed, we have Jerry Nzunza, Daniel Herrera, Jayla Rashid, and Chelsea Ramirez. For best hair, we have Nate Garcia, Daniel Herrera, Jayla Rashid, and Sophia Hamada. For most likely to be president, we have Nicholas Richardson, Tim Coleman, Evelyn Guerrera, and Lucy Rodriguez. For best car, we have Angel Mendoza and Kyle Yoom. And our two nominees for best photographer, we have Jesus Rodriguez. And we have Annabelle Coolio. Don't forget to vote for your favorites this Thursday at lunch. Thank you guys. Make sure to vote. Vote for your friends. This Thursday hiking club is hiking at Skyline from 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Want to join them and refresh your mind from all the work you have? Visit Mr. Bates in room D205. Ask him for a permission slip and get it to him before the event to go. There will be no transportation. Just a quick reminder, you need to get a ride there and back. Last week, Gaming Club had a Smash Bros. tournament scheduled, but sadly their event was canceled. Apparently they rescheduled for the 27th. That's good. That means people can still join. Exactly. Make sure to see Mr. Diaz in room E202. Now let's get ready for a Wait! You I'm getting told that it won't fit in this episode. Oh, you're kidding. Nope. Lions, make sure to scan this QR code to participate for Would You Rather next week. Well, we can keep going. Now let's go back to Miss Terry for the answer to that riddle. Okay, Lions, did you have time to think about it? Let me repeat the riddle. I am not alive, but I grow. I do not have lungs, but I do need air. I don't have a mouth, but water kills me. 
what am I? Did you think about it? I am fire. Have a good day. Thank you, Miss Terry. That's it for this week's news. Remember, Lions. Every, Every day, day is a great day at Pollard High. High.